Good afternoon from the floor of the CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders Exclusives comment for this week, the 21st day of February. Uh, we're closing in on the end of February today. Uh, the two things I want to talk about, looking for opportunity, right, um, and commodities. You, number one, you've got to take a look at where the U.S. dollar is. U.S. dollar is making our, uh, new three-year highs. Um, it's ironic because you also have gold, which typically moves inverse to the dollar. Gold is at a new seven-year high. It's closing in on testing 1650. If you've got a flashback all the way back to 2011, September of 2011, we had our record high print in uh, gold back then. It was 1921, $1,921 an ounce. That was the top. Um, so we're within 16% of challenging uh, those old highs. That's only a, really, it's less than 300 bucks. Um, so we'll see between now and the middle of uh, March, depending on what's going on with the uh, coronavirus in Asia, we'll see. Will people still keep going to that fear trade, right? So you've got an interesting thing right now. You've got the U.S. dollar at all uh, at three-year highs. You've got uh, gold at seven-year highs. And you also have the stock market holding in there. It's only within one or two percent of all all-time record highs. So the setup is for this. Once we know the true facts behind exactly what's going on in China, once we get the real data, once we will get there, and I don't know if it's going to take two weeks or two months, but eventually this market will have repriced whatever is really going on over there. So all those asset classes are going to reprice. So it's giving you a chance to, to take a look at those markets. Again, as opportunities, when markets are making uh, three-year highs, seven-year highs, all-time highs, Obviously, the, the decision always is, well, are we due for a correction lower? Um, some people think, and I'm in the camp, that it's possible that, uh, like everything else, once everybody finally gets long gold, you know, and we're definitely going to make new highs, that will probably be the setup for some sort of a correction. And again, so if you're getting in these markets, I don't care if you're speculating or if you're, you're, you think it's going to go higher or you think it's going to go lower, the one thing you must have, and I'll leave you with this, you have to have an exit plan. If you don't have an exit plan, you're going in, you're just rolling the dice. You might as well be going to Vegas and, and betting red or black on the roulette table. You've got to know that if you pay X for something, that you're going to be gone, going to be out at X minus a certain percent. If you don't know what that level is before you're getting into it, you're making a mistake. So good opportunities out there. Usually I'll talk about the grains and livestock. We'll go back to that next week. But I... Uh, I couldn't uh, let these, this opportunity to talk about the fact that you've got stocks at record highs, you've got the U.S. dollar at three-year highs, and the gold at seven-year highs. Good opportunity there. That's about it. This is Chris Robinson. Have a great day.